sponsored by Zach Ciota Records. Great music, awesome technician. ZachCiotaRecords.com We ride it high. All right, guys, I want to get, uh, this is the video that I've been needing to get done for a while. Uh, we have a tool here from Creative Products. It's the knockout tool. Uh, some of you may have seen other videos on this tool, but they were nice enough to send me one. So I want to do my review on it. Uh, it's a fan blade puller. And uh, I have really, really enjoyed it. Matter of fact, I don't even have my regular puller anymore. I refuse to use it since I've had this tool. This thing is fantastic. It comes with a hub and it comes with the set screw, a coarse and fine threaded set screw to put where the set screw goes on the fan. Now what we have here is I have an old Goodman unit. It was one of the last jobs I did before I went to work for the company that I'm working for. It's got a, it's old and it's, uh, that fan blade looks like it's, it's on there real good. So I'm going to take the top off of this unit real quick and we're gonna show y'all how the tool works. All right guys, uh, you can see a lot of rust and you can see that it's not coming off, it's on there set screws out I'm gonna sand the shaft I'm gonna spray it with some aerocroil Okay, here's the set screw that came out. It's fine threaded. So we have coarse and fine. So we're gonna use our fine threaded. We're gonna take our hub here. And the hub goes two ways. Okay, well that's not the right way. So we need it to sit like so. So, we're gonna put this back in here and we're gonna barely put the put the bolts in there to where it holds the hub so the hub doesn't fall out but to where it'll still fit okay and then we're gonna put the set screw holder in there I usually use a T-handle because the only thing that I would like to see creative products do is make uh, hex heads on here where you could use a, uh, a crescent wrench. But other than that, I have no complaints about the tool. Sometimes a set screw can be a, give you a little trouble. But see, I got it in there. So I'll take my T-handle here. And that's it, she's in there. Then we'll tighten these up. T-handle works great, because you can get uh, past the blade, but I've never used it on a blower motor yet, and that, that you won't be able to use a T-handle on a blower motor. That'll be a little difficult. That's why I wish I had, it, had, uh, it had hex heads. But like I said, I mean, other than that, I have no complaints about the tool. Okay, nice and tight. And with that hub, it's not like a regular puller. You don't have to worry about being off center. You know, you're always gonna be center. We're nice and tight, see? Okay, now, 
we're gonna grab our hammer. Put that in there just like so. And look at that. Great tool. I mean, that wasn't a bad one. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but steel. I mean, y'all seen. I mean, look at that. Fantastic. I mean, this thing beats a, a basic puller any day of the week. So I cannot say enough good things about this knockout tool. It's by Creative Products. Uh, I'll try to put a link in the description. And I want to thank Creative Products so much for sending me this tool. I've really enjoyed using it. Thank y'all so much. Uh, if you don't have one, get it. You'll never go back to a regular pooler ever again once you use this. I know I won't. But anyway, I just wanted to make that quick video. Uh, so again, the knockout tool by Creative Products. I can't say enough good things about it. The only thing I suggest it, uh, to, to Creative is to maybe uh, make some new bolts that you can do the Allen wrench and a, uh, you know, and a, where you can do a crescent wrench like this. That would, it would be nice if, if it was hex where you could put a crescent wrench on it. But other than that, no complaints. Thank y'all for watching and we'll see y'all on the next one.